Hey guys, welcome back to All Alone Law. This is a quick or what you call a medical video lecture, orthopedics. And today I'm gonna talk about very important topic, avascular necrosis. Okay, avascular necrosis of bones. So this is really very important topic and very for medical students for even for a USML examination. So the avascular necrosis, the name itself indicates the avascular, there's a lack of blood supply and that results in the necrosis of the bone. There are plenty of causes, the most being like soon after the trauma, okay, and use of steroids or use of any other different types of drugs they can what happens they can jeopardize what you call uh, vascularity of the bone follow okay and that results in the necrosis when there is a necrosis the patient will have a severe pain okay so let's talk about the common sites where we'll get the, what you call um, avascular necrosis so the common sites being the very important for USMLA or for clinical practice, it is ahead of, it's ahead of femur. It's ahead of the femur. If there is a fracture of the neck of the femur or the posterior dislocation of the hip, this can cause what you call um, avascular necrosis of the head of the femur, remember. Either it can be due to fracture of what you call it, neck of fracture of neck of femur okay or posterior dislocation of hip okay sorry posterior dislocation of the hip the other common sites being proximal pole of scaphoid remember proximal pole not the distal pole that's really very important scaphoid okay proximal pole let me write the P over here. Fracture is the waste of the what you call a scaphoid that can result in the vascular necrosis of the proximal pole of the scaphoid. And they can be a body of talus. Remember the body, okay? The body of the talus can have this vascular necrosis. If there is a fracture through the neck of the talus, fracture through neck of through neck of talus okay guys so these are the important sites where usually you will get the avascular necrosis right so in USML examination if they give that uh, she had what you call um, fracture of the neck of the femur now she is presenting with the pain in the hip joint what could be the cause or either she is a rheumatoid arthritic patient and she is using steroids for a long period and she has developed what you call um, uh, pain in the hip joint or either OCP use it all depends right so many causes for that so try to think of this avascular necrosis could be there right okay uh, remember one thing what happens when there is avascular necrosis as the blood supply, the blood supply is low, it causes what you call a, a deformation of the bone. This leads to what you call a secondary osteoarthritis. Secondary osteoarthritis. Secondary osteoarthritis. And this causes what you call a painful limitation of our joint movements. Painful, very important. Okay right so how do you diagnose this disease really very important so remember avascular necrosis should always be suspected in a fracture where it is known to occur as i described in the previous screen that the common sites if the patient presents with the pain in these common sites following the fracture then it's better to you should think of a possibility of avascular necrosis okay the plain, what you call a stiffness, pain, you know very well, stiffness, okay, appears rather late sometimes, okay. So what are the x-ray changes that you will get? What are the x-ray changes? X-ray is really very good diagnostic test for this. 
So um, there will be what you call sclerosis of necrotic area. Sclerosis of necrotic area. A vascular body is unable to share what you call osteoporosis as occurs in the surrounding normal bones because of the disuse. Hence, it uh, what you call uh, stands out densely on the X-ray and results in the sclerosis of uh, necrotic area. The other thing that you can see in X-ray is a deformity. Deformity of the bone because of the collapse of the necrotic bone. Okay, so that's very simple. And as I said, there can be osteoarthritis. Okay, yeah, there be a joint space will be what you will narrowed. Right osteophytes, that's a lipping of uh, bone from uh, margins can be seen. So the best way to diagnose the possible, it's, a, it's possible to diagnose what you call avascular necrosis on the bone scan before changes appear on a plain x-ray. So it's a, you can take a bone scan also. Okay. So now let's talk briefly about the, how do you treat it, what's the treatment, how do you manage. Okay, avascular necrosis may be prevented by, remember, by early or called, uh, energetic reduction of a susceptible fracture and dislocations. Okay, um, the following treatment can be done like um, delay weight bearing. delay weight bearing on necrotic bones until it is revascularized okay delaying weight bearing uh, what you call uh, on the necrotic bones and the other thing is by revascularization means we are again supplying what you call a blood to the um, uh, the area where there is a necrosis that can be done by the bone grafts okay like a vascularized bone grafts in an avascular femoral head in a fracture of the neck of the femur that can be done right so this is also an option excision if it's not worth after trying for this what you call this a blood supply it's not gonna improve or either you can try directly what you call excision of the avascular segment of the bone like a fracture of the scaphoid what we do is we just excise the um, what you call uh, the part of that scaphoid that is avascularized or necrosed okay so sometimes what happens excision is followed by replacement okay like in a fracture of uh, neck of the femur a vascular head can be replaced by prosthesis so that's a really very common uh, what you call uh, thing you do right so another thing is a total joint replacement total joint replacement you know very well about this total joint replacement or arthrodesis may be required once the patient is disabled because of the pain from uh, osteoarthritis due to what you call a necrosis, avascular necrosis. So this is about the um, uh, avascular necrosis of the bones and very important topic for USMLE. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.